it is a very different bike as compared to the other Royal Enfield siblings let's go for a test that is a very compact bike okay my feet touch the ground very easily I am 5.7 it doesn't feel that heavy also so I have uh, an interceptor 650 and it feels lighter than than it okay see I'm trying to move the bike with my legs only it feels very light I can touch my feet to the ground okay it sounds very similar to the super meteor okay there is a good 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 pickup the total response is really good okay okay, okay. It, it actually feels like a classic 350 position, you know At least the legs are in uh, that way Just a little ahead, little forward And uh, the tank is a little bigger Compared to the 350 Which makes you lean a little The handlebar is very uh, short, you know I think it's a very good uh, stance for the city ride you don't feel the weight at all, nothing. Okay, now the uh, this the foot pegs do come in between when you're riding. Okay, it's it's actually very. It feels like a very light bike, man. Pretty chill bike. You know, I really like the stance, the ergonomics. The horn! Oh man, the horn should have been like the Interceptor or the GT. It has a Super Meteor horn, <laughs> which is not very loud. I mean, if there's a big bike coming, people should know, you know, there's a big bike behind. The horn should be making people aware of it. Okay, okay. But I, I absolutely love this, uh, this sitting position. I, I I really like this bike, man. The suspension is on the stepper side. But let me tell you all one thing. It definitely feels lighter than the Interceptor, man. Come on, some I don't know. It has the new chassis of uh, the Super Meteor 650 which is much more heavier than the Interceptor and Continental GT's chassis but somehow this bike feels lighter to ride as compared to the Interceptor 650 okay that's really cool It has a more cruising like position as compared to the interceptor so it the bike would want you to you know just uh, sway in the wind not rush around you would just want to go with the flow exploring viewing I'll take a turn from here
I would say this is a modern bullet man. <laughs> More youngsters will like this bike. This stance, and in fact, I should say, this stance, the stance that this that this bike gives, it is it's very much similar to the bullet stance, man. I really love it. Oh, oh man, shit! This is such a good riding position. It feels like a bobber, but just uh, with the arms, with the handle lower than the bobber style. I think this will be a good city bike. Long distances will be good only, but uh, not compared to the Interceptor and the Super Meteor. <laughs> I really love this bike, man. I'm, I am in love with this bike. The instrumental cluster is decent. It has the the maps, and it has carried the same so the odometer from the Super Meteor. It is very basic, very minimalistic, but it gives you all the details that you need. The the handlebar is short show the hands are very close to the bike it gives you a very good uh, city riding position it, it helps you in it helps you in the traffic crossing narrow roads the tank is also a typical royal enfield of course the teardrop tank but uh, it is longer as compared to the other smaller engines of Royal Enfield, that is 350cc, it falls into the 650cc category. The, mi the mirrors are decent enough, uh, but uh, there is no vibration at all. Man. There is no vibration at all. I really love the, uh, the sitting position. The way my feet uh, touch the ground, I really love it. And uh, I have been, there are a few uh, speed breakers. And a few bumps on the roads that I'm traveling now, that I'm testing it on now. And I never felt, you know, the bike crashing against any of them. I love the bike. I really love the bike. Especially this sitting position. It feels like a bullet man somehow. I don't know. It feels like a bullet to me. Just a modernized bullet. And the uh, exhaust is similar to the Super Meteor, not much of a difference. Let's have a quick look at the bike. This color looks amazing. The black engine. This dark blue. I don't know what color it is. It's on the bluer scale. So there's this seat you can remove very easily using the key. The rider seat is also very comfortable. This is how it looks from the back. The tires are really big. I think they are bigger than the Interceptor and the GT. Mm, disc brakes by Brembo. This is how it looks from the front. It has the same uh, headlight that the Super Meteor has, the LED one. But, uh, you know, these. Uh, Foot rests, they're coming in between oh, every time I'm moving around. That might be a problem.
and these are the hard uh, hard ones metal ones they are not moving so for the interceptor also the footrest comes in between your legs but they come in between from the behind of the legs they hit your calf and the footrests are also they have a spring in it so they move along but these are like hard stock they don't move along <laughs>